This is a big battery. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the EcoFlow River Pro, which is a large portable power station that can charge up all of your electronics on the go. I'm a huge nerd when it comes to portable power stations. I've got these small ones that I can throw in my backpack if I'm going on a hiking trip or something. I've got these medium sized ones that I like to use around the office, around the house during a power outage. But this thing is on another level. I like to use power stations for a variety of reasons. For instance, if I'm going to an ultra marathon, sometimes I camp in the back of my car and that's where I have my laptop and my cameras. I want to be able to charge up my drone and all these different electronics that need a bunch of power. I don't want to have to run my motor in my car overnight just to charge them up. That's where a power station comes in handy. These can especially be handy if you're going car camping or something like that, where you want to run a small appliance like a TV or a mini fridge, just to have the niceties out in the wilderness. And another great use of a portable power station of this size is power outages. I mean, right now it's hurricane season. This is when things get pretty windy, you lose power. You can actually power a lot of your appliances in a pretty small form factor that you can keep tucked away without the need of like a full on gas generator. Before we get into it, I do wanna let you know that EcoFlow did send me the River Pro for the purpose of this video. I didn't pay for this unit, but this is not a sponsored video and I'm allowed to share my honest opinion with you. EcoFlow was nice enough to share a discount code that'll get you $50 off of the River Pro if you decide to pick one up and you can find links down in the description if you're interested in one. This is a pretty large object, so I'm gonna do my best to show you how it unboxes. No promises here. We've got our uh, silica gel packets, which is very important along with a little registration card, foam, and then we've got a secondary box. Got more foam, lots of foam in this box. And then we've got the EcoFlow River Pro portable power station. Oh boy, this thing is pretty cool looking. Let's put this aside for one second and take a look in the other box. So we've got our instructions here, which I don't need right now because I'm a professional. Okay, inside this box is various cables. The first cable we'll look at is the power cables. That's probably the most important one in the box. And this is like a standard three prong power connector you'd get with something like a TV or maybe a computer. Next up, we've got the car adapter and this is the standard cigarette lighter or auxiliary port kind of thing that you'd have in any car. Then we've got a DC to DC DC cable. This kind of cable will be used for small appliances or mini fridges or something like that. And then finally, we've got this adapter and this one's pretty important because it's actually to adapt a solar panel to the EcoFlow River Pro. On one end, it's got these connectors that are a standard when it comes to solar panels. So you can buy just about any solar panel off the internet. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the EcoFlow River Pro. Around the front of the EcoFlow River Pro, you're gonna find a little display and you can turn that on by pressing the on button at the bottom here, you'll hear a small beep. This display is really awesome because it actually shows the real-time amount of hours you've got remaining on the device depending on the draw from whatever you've got plugged into it. So if you're drawing a bunch of power out of it, this number is going to drop dramatically, but if you only get a small appliance plugged into it, it'll go up. Right now it says I have 99 hours remaining and that's because I'm not doing anything with it. I haven't plugged anything in yet. Next to the hours, you've got your charge status. Right now I'm at 100% here. And then next to that, you've got your input or output wattage, which is how much power you've got coming in versus is how much power you've got going out. Below that display, you've got three USB type A inputs, including one that's a fast charge compatible input and one USB type C input, which is compatible with anything up to hundred watts. That could be a MacBook Pro. It could be basically any laptop that supports USB type C charging, a cell phone, anything like that. To the right of all this stuff, you've got a flashlight that you can turn on by pushing the button, which can be handy in a pinch if you're trying to change a flat tire on the side of the road and you don't have a flashlight. You can see that it still says 99 hours remaining despite the light being on. So it's really not taking a toll on the battery at all. And to the left, you've got a DC 12 volt auxiliary port like what you'd find in a car. Same kind of uh, cigarette lighter adapter type thing. And then below that, you've got two barrel plug DC outputs and that could be used for anything like a uh, blender or a small refrigerator or something like that that's dedicated DC appliance for like a camper or an RV. So you've got a whole bunch of IO happening on the front here, but around the left hand side, you've got even more. We've got three AC outputs. These are like wall plugs. You can plug just about anything into. Simply put Push this button on the left here to turn the outputs on. And now you can plug in in a refrigerator or a TV or just about anything else you've got laying around your house. The cool thing about these outputs is that they're rated pretty high. They've got a continuous 600 watts of draw or you could surge up to 1200 watts. So things like uh, small coffee machines or a small blender, things like that should be fine with this unit. Another added perk of the EcoFlow River Pro is that it features X-Boost technology, which is a proprietary technology that EcoFlow 
came up with. That means you can use AC appliances up to 1800 watts on the AC output without uh, triggering like an overload protection. They use some voodoo magic to make this work, so they only recommend using this on power tools or appliances, things like that. But it does mean you could run like a circular saw off this thing without a problem, which is pretty impressive. I've actually put this thing to the test by plugging in a toaster in my coffee machine simultaneously and it had no issue running both at the same time. Around the other side of the device is where you're gonna find the inputs to the EcoFlow River Pro. Inside here, you'll find the three prong power adapter along with a reset button if you do manage to overload this unit. And you've also got this little proprietary plug on the left here for either a solar panel or the cigarette lighter for your car. Around the bottom below the AC outputs, you've also got an expansion port for the EcoFlow River Pro. And this actually allows you to double the capacity of the EcoFlow River Pro by buying another battery from them and plugging it into this port. Basically acts as one giant unit. Once you plug that in, they work together in sync. When it comes to charging times of the EcoFlow River Pro, that's where things get pretty interesting. I have other portable power stations that are roughly half the size of this, and they can take eight, nine hours to fully recharge from zero to 100%. Whereas the EcoFlow River Pro can actually recharge from zero to 100% in just 1.6 hours. It's really amazing how much power this thing can draw when you've got it plugged into a wall outlet in your house. It can draw up to 600 watts while it's charging. In order to keep things cool while it is recharging, there is a fan that'll kick on that you'll hear. It's not very loud, but it is something to take note of. If you do decide this to charge this in your car, it can take up to six and a half hours to fully recharge. And if you go with a solar panel, it could take anywhere between four and a half to 11 hours to fully recharge, depending on the size of your solar panel and how much sun is available. The battery capacity of the EcoFlow River Pro is 720 watt hours which is a lot. <laughs> to put that in perspective, the battery capacity of something like a MacBook Pro is around 50 watt hours. So this has 720 watt hours compared to that. When we talk about watt hours, that means you could run a one watt appliance for 720 hours. So you can do the math to figure out what other appliances would take. That's even more important if you're camping and you're using something like a mini fridge, you can run a mini fridge off this thing for a couple of days without an issue, depending on the size. The battery inside the EcoFlow River Pro will last a pretty long time and it can be recharged up to 800 times. After that, it might start to degrade. It's not gonna totally fail after that, but that's when you get the most efficiency out of this unit. The EcoFlow River Pro is built like a tank. It's got a really sturdy top handle. Everything is plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap by any means. I don't feel any flexing or creaking or anything like that. The EcoFlow River Pro is about 12 inches wide and about nine inches tall and about seven inches deep. So it's not that big and it only weighs about 16 pounds. So I can lift it up with one hand without an issue. That said, this is not something you're gonna put in your backpack to go hiking with. 16 pounds is a lot of weight, unless you're really planning on glamping. This is definitely something that's designed for camping, car camping, RV camping, things like that. Another cool feature about the EcoFlow River Pro is that there's actually a companion smartphone app that you can do various things with. You can check the current power consumption. You can turn on and off all of the various inputs and outputs remotely, including the flashlight, which is kind of cool. You can see your overall system health and change some of the settings, and you can see the input and output wattage in real time. In terms of pricing, the EcoFlow River Pro is a little bit steep, coming at $650. However, this does have that really nice rapid recharge function and the smartphone app that comes along with it, along with that X-Boost technology to drive really large power hungry appliances. I think given those features, that is a reasonable price to ask. Overall, I really like the EcoFlow River Pro and I'm pretty impressed with the capabilities of it. I'm definitely gonna keep this in my car when I'm going on different projects and I'll need to charge cameras and drones and all those things. This will be really nice to have. This is also gonna be really nice to have around the house so my kids can charge up their iPads or whatever if we do have a power outage. I'm looking forward to that. Like I said at the beginning of this video though, there is a $50 off coupon that I'll put down in the description along with a link and that'll save you 50 bucks so it might be more of an option for you. All right, that's all I've got for today. I just want to show off this really cool EcoFlow River Pro and what I think about it so far. Let me know what you think of the EcoFlow River Pro. Is it something you're interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all I've got for this one. Bye.